Hello babes and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. Today we have something really special because we have another doll skill haul. This time I got a lot of outfits from the latest Widow collection. I have to say this is one of my favorite Widow collections in a very long time since perhaps the one that they did at around this time last year that was all vampire themed. I have a video for that collection on my YouTube channel, so if you want to check it out, I will leave the link for you in the description box down below. But let's start with this one. First of all, I got this dress that you might remember from my previous haul, but it is from this collection, so I thought I would start the video with this one, so you get all the outfits I have from this collection in one video. This one I think was called Kiss Blind Faith Velvet Dress, but I will leave the links and sizes in the description box for you, so if you want to check out something on their web, you can click it and go there directly. So this is a gorgeous mauve velvet dress. I really like these details. It has bows here. I didn't tie them because I'm wearing it with this duster. I think this was the demonology duster, but I got it a long time ago. It's also from Widow, so I'm not completely sure about the name but it's really really cute. I really like all the details in this dress, especially the key on the front. It's really sturdy. It feels like an actual necklace more than a decoration on a dress. I love the velvet, especially the color is stunning and also the ribbons on the straps and on the back are just really really cute. Now let's move on to the new stuff because everything is so beautiful and I'm sure you will love it. Next thing I want to show you is this beautiful grey dress. I really like this dress because it's completely out of my comfort zone. It's totally different from everything I have so far. So I'm gonna try it on and I'll be right back. This is how the dress looks like on. What do you think? At first I wasn't sure what to expect because it's, as I said, totally different from everything I have. But that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. This dress is called Caution Do Not Cross and I got it in a size XS. I really like the way it's made. I think the design is really really flattering. It accentuates my waist a lot. It's really tight in here. It has some straps. So don't worry because it's a little bit stretchy but it's really tight in here so if you don't have a very pronounced waist naturally it's either going to be super tight or you might want to size up for this one but I got it in my usual size everything I'm gonna show you today is a size excess and like 99.9% .9 of the things I have from them in an excess fit perfectly now this dress makes me feel like a Disney princess but with a Tim Burton twist. I think it's because of the color, it's kind of a corpse bright color but the design is still very flattering and elegant and I think it's a very stunning color. I'm surprised it looks so good on because I wasn't sure what to expect as almost all my clothes are black or dark red and I have some purple stuff but nothing gray so far. And I am pleasantly surprised. I think it's very, very flattering and very beautiful. Something else I got in this haul that I think will look perfectly with this dress are these sleeves. As far as I know, these are the first sleeves from Widow. These are called Bloody Mary Lace Bell Sleeves. And as far as I remember, they don't have a size. They're just one size. I think they are a little bit big for me, but just a tiny bit. But that's because my arms are extremely thin. I don't know why, probably because I never work out. Since they only come in one size, they might be too small if you're anything above an XL, and maybe too big if your arms are like mine or even thinner. But they are pretty stretchy and they can probably accommodate like from an S to an XL perfectly. I'm also gonna show you how they look like, um, like this. As you can see, they are very thin in here, but then they're huge. So let's put this one on. Careful not to destroy it because I'm wearing a lot of jewelry. By the way, I always get questions about my necklaces and all that, and like 90% of my jewelry is from Alchemy England. Most of the time you can find it at doll scale as well, so if you live in the US it might make a lot more sense if you buy from them. But if the specific design you want is not available on doll scale, just check Alchemy England or any other retailers. They have retailers and distributors all over the world, so you shouldn't have any problem finding their stuff. Okay, I think the sleeves fit the dress perfectly, even though they're a different color, but the way they start almost 
like following the neckline of the dress I think it's really beautiful by the way I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird today I had an extreme allergic reaction last night and also I've been taking photos in the cold with outfits like this for almost all week so my voice is a disaster right now I'm so sorry but back to the outfits I'm gonna show you I think this is my favorite piece from the entire collection this gorgeous black and silver corset since i saw it i fell in love with it it's just perfect although i think the bones are plastic it is constructed in a way that feels like a real corset and of course the busk at the front is uh, steel and it is made of this gorgeous brocade fabric and lined with satin Okay, now that i'm wearing it what do you think about it i am absolutely in love with it i think it's really stunning even more so in real life than it was on the website it fits me pretty nicely i love the way it's cut it ends at your waist which is super flattering again and it it closes with a ribbon on the back it is slightly open this is a size excess i could still close it a little bit more if i want it tighter or open it if i don't want it to be as tight so I don't think you will have any sizing problems with this one because it is adjustable. Then it closes with a busk on the front. This is steel, but I think these are plastic. It also has these ribbons on the straps as the dress I tried on at the beginning of the video. By the way, I forgot to tell you the name of this one. This one is called To Tail the Tail Brocade Top. And I think I said this, I got it in a size excess. So let's get a matching skirt for this outfit. So I can show you the full look. For this I got uh, this lace skirt. Now, because I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that properly when I put this on, one of my favorite things about this skirt is the waistband because it's just this thin lace and it looks pretty pretty good. It's a very high waist skirt but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell with the corset on. This one's called the Midnight Hour Lace and Midi Skirt and just like everything else, I've got it in a size XL. It has three layers. I'm gonna show you that right now. This one, which is opaque, it is a little bit above your knee, so not very long. Then it has this tool layer with a ribbon at the bottom, and then it has a lace layer on top of that one. And it looks really beautiful the way it moves with you when you move around. It's just stunning and I think this will look super good with a little bit of wind. But unfortunately I don't think you can appreciate how beautiful this is here in my room. I also got another skirt but this one is a lot shorter. This one is called a Dare to Cross Me mini skirt and the details on the front are just perfect. I don't think I've ever seen something so wearable in this style. It is designed like one of those beautiful corsets that have a lot of laces and these things to pull and I just love it. I actually got this one thinking of this corset but now that I have both here I think I'm more inclined to use it with the long one. So let's try this on and let's see how it looks like. Okay, so now that you're going to see the corset with both skirts, which one do you like the best for this outfit? I'm not completely sure, I think I'm gonna go with this one because I am just obsessed with the design. But perhaps the style and vibe are more in tune with the previous one. But I'm not sure, just tell me in the comments which one do you think is a better match for this corset. Putting it on was a bit of an experience, especially because I'm wearing fitness and all these rings. But it is a little tight. Although it fits me perfectly once it's on. Anyway, it closes with a that zipper in here that goes um, all the way down to here. Um, here. <laughs> it is pretty tight, it's not very stretchy, but I think in size S would be too big because this is supposed to be very tight. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing I have, which is the last item of the haul. Um, I'm kind of happy because my voice is killing me, although I wish I could have gotten a lot more things from this collection because I am obsessed, but they sold out really, really fast. So let's move on to the last one, which is a baby doll dress. It comes in two pieces, the like slip dress that you're supposed to wear underneath and then the lace dress. I thought they would come together. 
but actually that's better because you can wear this one with different things underneath and you can probably combine it with something a different color which would make for a very very great contrast this one is the house on a hill mini dress and i also got it in a size xs I think it's pretty cute. I really like how it looked like on the model, so I decided to step out of my comfort zone and get it. I don't usually wear baby doll dresses because I don't think they really fit my body type or are designed to flatter my body type, but this one was just too cute. I only have two baby doll dresses, both are from Widow, and I've gotta say, the part in here is so small. I might consider sizing up if I ever get another baby doll dress from Widow or Doll Skill because even though it fits me right once it's on, putting it on was a nightmare <laughs> because it doesn't, it doesn't have a zipper or any opening anywhere. This part is tight and doesn't stretch, although the overall dress, the material is stretchy and it's kind of difficult to put it on and take it off. So I hope I don't get stuck here and I can remove it once I'm done with the video, but wish me luck. Now another thing I want to mention about this dress is that it's extremely short. I had noticed that on their website, but I thought because I'm very short it would look a little longer on me. It well it doesn't. The lace part fits more like a t-shirt, it doesn't really cover my ass completely. But even if I expected it to look a little longer on me, I still think it looks really beautiful. Maybe because you can see the bottom layer and you can actually see where my body is. I think it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable than other baby doll dresses I've tried on and have returned in the past. And I... I think I'm gonna give this one a go because the details are just really cute, especially like this here. Overall, it's just a very beautiful dress, it gives me doll vibes, so yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Unfortunately, that was the last thing of this haul. Thank you so much for watching if you made it so far. I hope you enjoyed the selection of clothes I picked for today's haul. It's definitely one of my favorite collections Widow has released so far together with the vampire one I told you at the beginning of the video and I will link it down below in case you want to check it out. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And we will see each other in my next one. Bye!